May I ask Andy Offit, member of the Hebrew College Board of Trustees and immediate past chair, to please escort David Hoffman to the podium. David, we first met about six years ago, six and a half, shortly after I had become president of Hebrew College. You did not know a lot yet about Hebrew College, and I knew very little about being president. <laughs> it was a perfect match. <laughs> Somehow, generously, mysteriously, miraculously, you agreed to join our newly formed Strategic Planning Committee. There were two qualifications for serving on that committee. Everyone had to be smart and kind. We needed people smart enough to solve some pretty intractable problems and kind enough to do so together. I knew you would bring both of those qualities to the table, but I had no idea you would epitomize them so fully that you would set a new bar for the rest of us with your blend of analytical insight, interpersonal sensitivity, integrity, humility, humor, and hard work. Soon you had developed a detailed list of about 130 recommended action steps <laughs> for us to get to a sustainable business plan. But you were not like most people who like to make long lists of recommended action steps for others to follow. For as long as we've worked together, your two most common refrains have been, I don't want to step on anyone's toes. <laughs> and I'm happy to help. <laughs> Over time, unable to resist the bribe of a tuna sandwich <laughs> from the old Union Station Cafe, you accepted an invitation from me and Andy to join the Hebrew College Board of Trustees. You quickly became an invaluable member of our finance committee and then treasurer, and together you and Beryl have also become devoted adult learners through the college, bringing your long-standing passion for learning to the study of Jewish history, thought, and literature. I think you know I am not prone to hyperbole. I am not exaggerating when I say that there is not a single aspect of the college's operations that has not been made better because of your dedicated involvement. And there is not a single departmental leader at Hebrew College who has not treasured working in partnership with you. While I have taught you to say poo poo poo, <laughs> you have taught all of us what it really means to plan seriously, systematically, and wisely. Your eyes are still and always on the horizon. What challenges do we still need to tackle? How can we leave things in the best possible shape for those who will come after us? David, I don't know how I got lucky enough to have the privilege of working with you. I have learned so much from you not only about spreadsheets and campus cafe, <laughs> although that too. I have learned from you about finding joy amidst hardship, about living on the hope side of the house, and about dedicating yourself wholeheartedly to the work and people you love. In Psalm 85, we read, Chesed ve'emet nifgashu, tzedek v'shalom nashakum. Kindness and truth have met. Righteousness and peace have kissed. Thank you for showing us all what it looks like when deep integrity and abiding kindness walk hand in hand.
Yeah. Thanks.